Yo, peace and blessings, everyone. So I woke up today to something annoying, uh, really annoying because I woke up and a mural I just finished up pretty much a week before, I basically got tagged. And it was a small tag, something not too big, so it's uh, annoying but doable uh, to fix. So I wanted to sort of actually do a video on how I fix murals. And using this new product from uh, the company Mural Shield, they're based in LA, they do a lot of products. So I wanted to use their solvent sort of uh, solution. So basically, you know, gathering all the supplies I usually would use to sort of fix a mural and basically heading out there to uh, fix it. One thing about this mural, uh, I did an anti-graffiti coating on top of it, but it wasn't by the same company, it was a different brand. I did a video a while ago using the Vandal Guard anti-graffiti coating. So that's basically is what's protecting this mural that you see right here. So there's like a thin layer of that Vandal Guard coating and that's pretty much what they sprayed on top. But I also wanted to say that I did a mural underneath here that I just painted on top of and that mural was protected by some really great anti-graffiti coating by Sherman Williams. But I didn't have sort of the resources to actually take that coating off because you have to do like a hot power or pressure wash to take it off. So I just painted right on top of that anti-graffiti coating. So this is also like an experiment to see if I'm able to paint on top of anti-graffiti coating with another mural and then coat that mural and see if I can sort of protect it uh, without having it sort of disintegrate to like the first mural I did. So basically I wanted to see exactly how sensitive this sort of product was to where I can just like rub it on and that has to sort of really do a lot of just like uh, rubbing of the mural which would sort of you know break away the, the top mural and sort of reveal the mural underneath it because that mural like I said is still protected with that anti graffiti coating but just using this uh, world's best graffiti coating masonry sort of uh, graffiti removal or just like paint removal basically it just dissolves uh, the paint on top and it's been working really good I mean you can see how you know you just rub it in and you just gotta keep rubbing it in and aggravating sort of that uh, layer of paint. And basically I try to do as much elbow work as possible to just rub it all in. And then basically I get my pesticide sprayer, fill it, filled it full of water and use that to sort of just spray as I sort of went through, uh, just like rubbing it in. And it's coming off really nice. I mean, I didn't put too much pressure on it, one thing about this sort of solution is that while I'm using this brush, this basic paint brush that you can buy at any hardware store, it is basically almost dissolving the bristles on that brush. So the bristles are sort of breaking off and sort of, you know, just staying on the wall with that solution. So that is something that, you know, I really have to think about next time. That's why I'm also wearing gloves because all this stuff is pretty gnarly and I should have also used a respirator because of the, the misting whenever I'm spraying the water, you know, it sort of splashes back. So I should have been wearing a respirator as well on this uh, sort of cleaning up of the wall. But you can kind of see how it basically has been dissolving. And I'm trying to do as much to sort of get all the sort of uh, the residue off as it's running down the wall but this pesticide sprayer, I have to keep sort of pumping it full of pressure. Uh, so next time I'm definitely going to use uh, sort of like a water source that has a lot more capacity because I keep having to sort of stop, fill it up and then pump it up again. And while I'm doing that, uh, the, the anti-graffiti coating is running down the wall and it's getting on other parts of the mural and sometimes drying in different areas. And you'll see at the end of the video, when I go up really close, there's like this sort of milky haze to part of the mural that, you know, it's like, I thought it was basically the, the coating that sort of dried. And it actually was the coating sort of taking off of the top coat that I just put on uh, a week ago, the anti-graffiti coating from that other brand. So that is something that I'll have to sort of 
uh, remind myself for next time is that you know I need to sort of put this anti-graffiti coating on there, rub it in, and quickly take a water source and spray as much as I can without sort of stopping because right now, you know, I'm doing a pretty good job, but I keep having, like I said, to stop and refill the pesticide sprayer. But overall, I'm really loving this solution mainly because, you know, it's really reacting really quick and sort of getting a lot of that, you know, paint off. It's only, I would say, been on there for about a day, that tag. So, you know, it's, it's basically, still fresh so it hasn't sort of solidified for a long time so I do have to account for that so getting to that tag really quick and sort of addressing it and trying to get it off really quick does help out uh, but the solution has made it a lot easier and I've only been out here for about 15 minutes at this point which is good so the solution is working really fast so you know if this thing was a lot larger like the you know half the wall type of thing you know, it's, because it's breaking down the paint, that tag on top of it really fast, it's kind of like I'm able to move really quickly through repairing the wall. So you don't want to be out here all day trying to repair a wall, you know, by grinding into it with a solution that's not really um, sort of taking up. Uh, the paint that well or breaking down the paint that well so a solution that really breaks down the paint really fast and you're able to just throw water on top of it and I don't have to have you know a heavy duty sprayer you know I have to have probably something stronger than this pesticide sprayer but you know having just a, a, a water source just to throw on it um, only is good so this basically has been a good sort of uh, experiment when it comes to experimenting with this product right here but also ex uh, a great experiment when it comes to seeing if I do paint on top of anti-graffiti coating you know entire mural and then you know use anti-graffiti coating on top of that one what will it do and I'm super stoked that you know this one really held up and there's only a few areas where you're able to see exactly, you know, that the solution did not work, you know, as well, but you have to go up really, really close. But this one, you know, from far away, people, you know, walking three feet away will not notice a lot of those imperfections from, you know, some of that solution breaking all the way through to that second mural. So the total amount of time that I was out here was about 20 minutes, so that's not bad. So, I mean, if you have multiple murals that you're putting around town and you're having to sort of maintain in your local neighborhood, you know, being able to go out and repair walls really quick and repair sort of your, your your murals is something that you really have to think about. So definitely check out the other video that I did with the anti-graffiti coating that I showcase that I use and ones that I recommend. You know, those have been really, really good. But you know, this right here worked out okay. You can still see a little bit of that sort of ghosting where the piece was and sort of the runoff, but it's not for a lack of getting the sort of the, the tag off. It's because I didn't have a water source to quickly just, you know, wash away that runoff because it sort of just sat there for a little bit and aggravated some of the graffiti coating underneath it. And because it's a different brand, that's probably why it's formulated differently. So, you know, I'll have to use the brand that this solution comes with as well next time. But overall for no money or no resources to actually do these murals i think this is pretty good because it's in a high traffic area so i expect to sort of come out here and fix it again over the next couple of years at least twice but you know it's great when you're driving by and you can't really even notice it so most of the people that will see it will just be driving by so hopefully this video helped out uh, definitely like subscribe hit that bell notification and i will see you next time peace